What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 386th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Tuesday, December 25th, 2018. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good and safe holiday season. Do not drink and drive. Do not fuck around and get a DUI on Christmas. That'll be a very bad Christmas for a lot of people. Not for your lawyer, but definitely for you. We are presented by 1821manmade.com, your one-stop shop for all of your beard grooming needs. They are not a bargain brand beard balm company that wants just any man to buy their products. They want men who take their facial grooming seriously. So go to 1821manmade.com and step up your beard game now. We are also brought to you by Happy Hippo Herbals, home of the highest quality kratom and highest grade kratom on the market. Happy Hippo Kratom will elevate your mood, make you fearless around women, and gives you a relaxed energy that only the purest kratom can provide. Go to happyhippoherbals.com now and save 20% when you pay with Bitcoin. Yes, that includes your shipping. All right, well, let's get right to it here, guys. My guest tonight is none other than Devin, quote unquote, Sharp. I talk about her all the time on the show. I get trolled sometimes because a lot of guys might think I talk about her too much. And like I say to those guys, go fuck yourself. Streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. I'm getting the Streamlabs link up. But for now, gentlemen, I give you the first and last woman to appear on TSR Live, Devin. Devin, you with us? I'm here. Hi, Merry Christmas. Yep, Merry Christmas to you too. How you doing? How did you, did you uh, have Christmas? <laughs> I had a wonderful Christmas. Thank you very much. I got a kitten. I have a beautifully detailed car. Um, I just like had a really relaxing time and yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So all of the, most of the question, most of the questions, I just bent my tongue there. Most of the questions <laughs> have come. Yeah. Most of the questions have come from my patrons. So <clears throat> my patrons, Miami J, uh, CJ, Alonzo Nelson, Moan, Marcus Richmond, Robert Allen. Uh, looks like Kevin asked a couple. Jacob and Alexander Hoffedler asked a ridiculous question that I'm not going to read <laughs> on the air. Yeah, we both know which one that is. I, I might read it just to troll him a little bit. We love you, Alex. Um, <laughs> let us start with the let us start with the first one. Okay. This one is asked by Miami J, not other than Miami J, who is in the chat now as Latino Manosphere. He says, "Quote." You've both met me and know who I am. What would you tell my main chick on how to keep me? So give Miami J advice on what to teach his main chick, what to tell his main chick. Well, I don't know Miami J personally. Yes, I've met him, but I don't really know much about him. But I don't see how the advice could be any different from, you know, how to keep any other man. You know, you'd be a good woman. You're, you're loyal. You don't cheat on your man, obviously. Um, trusting is a big one. Um, most women don't know how to trust men. Um, and it, for whatever reason, whether they're raised by a single mom or, you know, their dad was just a piece of shit or if they've went through men like, you know, you have a better expression for that. Um, <laughs> but they have a hard time trusting men. And even worse, they have a hard time trusting themselves. Um, so a woman let me ask you can, this, Deb. Let, sure. me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. So when you say trusting a man, because now a lot of people watching this will trust Donovan, like Donovan, you know, just came from Vegas and this and that and the other. So define what you mean by trust. Are you, do you mean trust as an in infidelity or trust? I mean, what kind of trust? I mean, is there many different kinds of trust? Elaborate that a little bit. Actually, yeah. Um, you can trust a man who like takes accountability for his actions, who owns his shit. Um, you can trust a man like who you ask him to do something and he does it or he tells you to do something and it's the right thing to do and you do it and things work out um you know trust is very it's not just like oh i'm gonna trust him to not cheat on me you can never trust anybody about him with that like come on if that's gonna happen sure. it's gonna happen um you can only kind of mitigate that um as far as like you know basically being your best person so that he doesn't cheat on you but you can't trust somebody. I think in that regard, I think it's stupid. Um, 
But, you know, as far as Miami J's question, like, you know, for the woman, you know, sh if she trusts you, like, and you really believe that I'm not saying that, that he has to trust her. I'm saying that she has to trust him and just making, being a good decision maker. Okay. I think that's the best way to put it. Right. Um, and also, Oh, sorry. Nope. Go ahead. Also like just being kind, affectionate and like doing little things to keep the spark alive. Like she's never just like settling in the relationship. She still does things that, make you appreciate her you know um and that actually turns around like um you know like it says that she's not taking you for granted so right but that, listen 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 i mean we know about we know about that stuff that that all that yeah. stuff is in chicken soup for chicken soup for the soul and all that the the trust that i want you to really get into and back up a little bit is trust and decision making a lot of women dev don't know how to trust men not the not the fidelity part right women are never going to trust men men are never going to trust women we get that uh, but a lot of women don't know how to trust men in a way that allows them to relinquish control what are your thoughts on that breathe Ooh. Devin is very <laughs> listen Devin is very very nervous I'm not gonna lie to you she's really really fucking nervous so I want you guys to troll her in the chats to make her even more nervous <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> um you know what I'll tell you this let's move on to the, let's move on to the next question we can come back to this one his second okay. question his second okay. question is what is the single most powerful thing Donovan ever did which made you say he owns me and I love it to yourself and I and I love it to yourself in other words, what he is asking you is why, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Miami J, why is it, why do you, what makes you say, you know what, I'm glad I'm with Donovan. Okay. First of all, to answer the first part of that question, um, I'm just going to put it this way, just moments of intimacy. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, you mean sex, sexual intercourse? Well, yeah, things that happen when that happens, yeah. <laughs> lady in the, listen lady in the street freaking the sheets we all know all about it you're listening to tsr live with donovan sharp this is episode 386 we are live with my girlfriend devin sharp um if anyone smells of troll guys just go ahead and time them out um you know i don't i don't need all that stuff in here let's go down the mod squad nurs and jaeger nurs and jaeger pops the cherry on christmas Miami J gets sloppy seconds. I am Alpha gets to fuck her in the ass, and JC gets to finish on her face while Jose S gets to gets to gets to get it all on film. He gets it all on camera. Ricky Bobby is in the house. Kobe Underdog says Merry Christmas, Uncle Donovan Sharp. I think that that is probably Kobe Anthony. Jonathan Cordero, good to see you. Hellfighters in the house. Colin Comrie. Mike Shinnery's in the house. Freelance Ronan making an appearance on Christmas Day. The original TSR OG. Let's see. The Real DG says your interview on 21 Studios, Studios is dope, bro. Appreciate that. Darian Valdez says you changed my life, Mr. Sharp. I appreciate it, man. Listen, you guys have changed my life, too. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I know I've changed a lot of lives out there, but you guys have literally changed my life. So let's not get this twisted, man. This is definitely a mutually beneficial relationship. Miami J wants to know where's Donna Claus. Hang on. All right. We'll break, we'll break, out, uh, we'll break out Donna Claus here. I don't have the hat, but I can... Uh, there we are. There we are. All right. We'll give it, give it, uh, give it a little bit of effort. There Do you we want are. me to bring you your ridiculous? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Fuck that. Leave that shit in there. I don't need that. My spring, my spring Santa Claus. Hat. There we are. All right. I'm nice and festive. Joby Block says Feliz Navidad. Um, let's see. Royce J. Kevin Ibanez is in the house. Very good. Chalk to to Joe C220 says women love a detailed car. Been doing that forever. Absolutely. Okay. Wow, you guys are active in the chat. D's Nut says, I wish I can see her face. Lovely, authentic, non weave hair. Good choice, bro. No, you can't see her face. And again, Jose S says, I love the icon with her face completely covered. Awesome. Joe C says, No face. D D's Nut says, Why? I want to see her beauty. No, you fucking idiots. Come on, man. You guys know why Devin's never going to show her face. Come on. It's privacy. You guys know that. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Jimmy Blog says that's privacy, lads. Of course. Capital of France is in the house. Christopher Mueller. Is it Mueller or Miller? Because the San Francisco Giants used to have a third baseman named Bill Miller. Okay, so I guess D's nuts. 
All right. Um, real quick, there's actually a question in here uh, from Kevin. Ah, Kevin Ibanez wants to know, Devin, is your father as masculine as Donovan? I, well, I don't know as masculine, but he is a masculine man. He led the household with an iron fist. Um, yeah, I mean, he's a good dude. I All love right. my dad. All right. Yeah, your dad's a cool dude. He's a Browns fan, so we'll have to forgive him for that. Oh, and he's also a Miami Dolphins fan, which mm. could you pick two worse teams? I mean, well, on. listen, I mean, the Browns are actually <laughs> looking. Listen, the Browns are the, the Browns have won seven games straight up. Well, straight up. yeah. All right. You so know Baker goes. Mayfield, you know, all right, good for them. Baker's they definitely guy. deserve a good season. So yeah, they do. They not do. gonna, not gonna poop on their parade or anything. <laughs> They've had it bad enough. Here's a question: uh, Can Devin conspicuously? Sp I'm sorry, conspicuous. Can Devin consciously spot the difference between an alpha and a beta? Yeah, can everybody? Yeah. Very good. Excellent. I, I think that that's. I think that's pretty obvious. Okay, Oaktown's finest trolling me on the Sixers. All right, let's get to a... Da, 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 da. Ah, here's an interesting question by Corey L. He wants to know, do you have conversations? Do us, do we have conversations about marriage or where is this headed? I'll let you answer that question, Deb. Um, we both really have no interest in marriage because honestly, I've always felt that marriage without kids is really pointless. Um, it doesn't really do anyone any good. Yep, my um, answer is no, we don't. Yeah. All right. I just let's see. marriage is a construct for the family unit. So Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Uh here's an intro. Now Alonzo Nelson actually asked quite a few questions. We're not gonna get to all of them. It's gonna get the most interesting ones. The very first one he asked was a very interesting question. He says, Devin. What advice would you give to women who are dating red pill aware men, red pill men? Pretty much the same response that I gave to Miami J at the start of this is be a good woman. Don't cheat. Be trusting. You know, that's the normal things. It's really not that difficult, though, right? No, not really. But, you know, there's nuances to all of those things. And in order, you know, to be kind, you need to be selfless and you know, a lot of people these days don't know how to be selfless. They're just caught up in their own little world. They're stuck in social media and these feedback loops that just basically rot their 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 psychological well-being. Um, you know, so it's hard to find a woman who a woman who doesn't value that feedback loop is actually healthier, like mind, body and soul, because it's like, you know, it's just a bunch of crap that she's valuing herself on. Instead of like real things. Well, the thing is, this is, you know, dating a red pill aware man certainly comes with its challenges, as, as I'm sure you could probably talk about. But I think at the end of the day, I think what a lot of what a lot of women need to understand is that the solutions are very simple. All women know what it takes to be a good woman. Otherwise, th otherwise, we wouldn't really be having these conversations. But being a good woman has quite literally been trained out of women to the point to where you have to train women to forego habits, situations, circumstances that could that could lead to cases of infidelity. Case in point, Dev, we just looked, and I'm not going to give too much proprietary information, but you know your company. You know, I guess we call it like the blind double uh, study or the or the review. Yeah, yeah, the Basically, feedback, the animal yeah. feedback. Right, right, right. Here's the thing. They, quite literally, all of Devin's coworkers says Devin is brilliant. She knows what she's talking about, but she doesn't really interact with us too much. And you've kind of caught some heat with your boss. Ah, you didn't participate oh in Secret God. Santa, blah, 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 blah. Talk to us. Talk, t t take my audience inside uh, the balancing act, right? You don't want to put yourself in position to, to um, I guess, to, to threaten our relationship. But at the same token, you got a job to do. So how do you separate that? How do you walk that line? This is a great um, point. I mean, I could talk for an hour about this because it it's is not, so it's, not. it's so difficult to navigate the workplace, um, even in a company where the culture is laid back and you know it's it's like they encourage you to you know whatever play pinball at lunch or they provide you know like there's a lot of things at my work that's like walking through a minefield. Yes, and and it's you know 
so the first thing is like I control the way that I dress. I control the way that I interact with people. I also check in with you so that you know when I'm meeting with people, you have access to my schedule. You know what's happening and when it's happening. So if you want to listen in to make sure that like what I'm saying, I'm doing, I'm actually doing, and I'm actually oh my doing God. it correctly. Oh, hold on. Oh, my God, Devin. It sounds like you might be suggesting that I am controlling and possessive. Oh, my goodness. Um. Yeah. So? There we go. Um, you know, and honestly, like, I don't really feel the need to, you know, play basketball twice a day with people in my division in order to fit in. I'm there to work, right? Like we were doing this, they were doing this one picture for social media or something. And they're like, come on, you know, and I'm like, I'm here to work, not get my picture taken. And the girl's like, okay. And walked away. And I think it helps that, like, maybe just because I'm a little bit older than most of the people in my company, most of them are in their 20s, that they right. just kind of back off and not like, you know, but also the worst people are the women. Because if you're not one of us, then, you know, you're like, they are like, okay, so I'm not like kissing people's asses and I'm not going out of my way outside of work to get to know everybody. But dude, the, the only people who have a problem with it are the women. The men don't give a shit, they don't care. You know, no one's ever said, oh, she needs to get more involved in team activities. That wasn't a woman. It's right, ridiculous. Right. The point so is, is that, I, hold on, that, that's enough. The point is, is that, is that it, it is a minefield. And I think what a lot of women need to understand that high value men, men who are actually worth their, you know, worth, um, what is it? Uh, worth their salt. I don't know, what is it? Oh, good God. I'm having a brain fart, but basically if, if you are, if you're worth your salt, right? If you're a man who's worth your salt, navigating the workplace is not going to be easy because guys like me, I see shit and acknowledge shit that most guys do not and will not address. Yes, that's true. And you see shit that I don't even see, like things that I always thought were completely harmless. You've made it very clear that they have potential to, you know, be very harmful. And so while sometimes we don't see eye to eye on a lot of that, I respect you enough to say, okay, if that's what he thinks, that's what it is, that this is what we're doing now. This leads and me to another question, Dev. <laughs> this leads me to another question, right? Um, listen, there are a lot of times where I piss you off, right? You're pissed <laughs> off. You're upset. Oh, I can't believe he said this to me. He yelled at me about this and oh, I can't do anything right. And listen, listen, I know you, I live with you. What goes through your mind? Because again, most women, when they go through, when they go through, you know, little frustrating tips where your man is telling you, Hey, I told you to do this. You didn't do it. And so now I'm coming down on you or you're, you know, I piss you off for some reason or another, or if you're just not on your a game and I call you on it, what goes through your mind and what keeps you around? What keeps you from saying, you know what? Fuck this. This just isn't worth it anymore. Um, uh, well, it comes down to trust. I mean, I know that you're looking out for us and that's, that's primarily the guiding force there. Right. Um, I really don't, sometimes I'll get frustrated, but I wouldn't ever say I get angry because if frustrated comes out of like, Hey, this is really what this is. And I wish you could see it, you know, like, and Bullshit! I, like, I don't buy it. <laughs> yeah. We've but, had that conversation before, right? Yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, I definitely don't, I don't get angry. Also, I don't hold grudges. Like I don't go to bed and wake up mad. Like I don't like, no, I, I've just never been that, that kind of person. So I'm like, I'm the kind of person who wants to learn, understand, move past and not repeat. So, you know, we have, we have a couple trip ups sometimes and things blow up and, you know, we both want to be here. So that's why we get through it. And, you know, at the end of the day, like if it's not worth it to you, you would leave. And if it's not worth it to me, I would leave. So, you, you know, it's, it's not like we're holding each other captive here. And this leads me into another question that I wanted to ask you on the air. A lot of women, uh, a lot of soy boys, a lot of would-be soy boys, haters like to say, oh my God, you know, like Devin does this, she does that. How can you be with such a misogynistic asshole? There must be something wrong with you, Devin. You're mentally ill. You have low self-esteem. You have fatty <laughs> issues. There is, n oh my God, I can't believe it. Okay. Was that a, oh, sorry, that was yeah. a question. All right. So what do you say to people? What do you say to people who tell, who say things like, Hey, listen, women in these relationships with these quote, quote unquote, red pill men, they're psychologically damaged. They've got daddy issues. They have low self-esteem. What would you say? I would that? call those people young 
and they <laughs> haven't learned how to haven't learned what works yet okay. honestly i mean you know blue pill relationships can work for a long time but they're not going to work for for the time for length of time you want it to work yeah right it's not you know happen. I mean, at one point, you know, a woman will start, you know, what is it? Um, she'll start having resentment because he's not doing A, B, or C, or she's doing X, Y, and Z, and she should feel she shouldn't be, or some other bullshit thing, like, you know, like, and so there's, there's, okay. <sighs> I think the difference, most the biggest difference between a, a like a blue pill man and a red pill man is that a red pill man takes responsibility and accountability for everything in the relationship. So like not necessarily for everything she does, but for everything that he does. So taking those two things, taking responsibility and accountability is very rare, especially, you know, with people under 30. And I don't know. Like those are two things that you have in abundance, you know. Like you own you own your shit, you know. Well, that's that's again that's uh, that's what's required. I actually got a question in here. Well, Billy Freeze wants to know what Devin does for work. Uh, she does internet marketing. Uh, Yola Maserati wants to know, Devin, do you want kids? No. All right. Um, that was actually Alonzo's fourth question. Yeah, yeah. Here's another question. Um, do you under he wants to know, do you understand the red pill and the manosphere in general? Have you read or watched any red pill content like Rolo Tomasi, Rational Mailbook series, or watched the documentary Divorce Corp? I have seen Divorce Corp. We watched it together on our social justice yeah, Warrior man. Saturday. Yes, that's KW days. Saturdays. <laughs> yes, that's KW Saturdays here at the Sharp Household. Yes. Uh, um, I just bought myself a copy of the Rational Mail for Christmas. Um, I had read the first couple chapters online, and I'm Devin, just like, Devin, let me stop away. you, D sweetheart. Let me, let me, let me, let me stop you, okay. sweetheart. You have met Rolo Tomasi. Oh yeah, I know. Rolo well, Tomasi. I know. Come on, you're, well, listen, you're supposed to drop the name. Come on, that oh. was that was set up for you. You're supposed to drop the name. You're killing. Oh yeah. Me. Oh, I had breakfast with Rolo Tomasi. There you that, go. Like, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Name um, dropping. To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.